Hello YouTube, it's Michael here. Um, since I did my original Xbox games, I figured I'd do my uh, Xbox 360 games. Um, I just picked up the system uh, on my birthday around uh, the beginning of April, more like the mid of April. So I've picked up all these games uh, since then, which is pretty good. And most of the games I tried to pick up were uh, Xbox 360 exclusives. I don't have many, I have like 35 or something like that, so I'll just go through all of them. Um, First game is called Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, a uh, rare game. Uh, a lot of people like this game. Um, I haven't played it yet, but it's it's definitely in the hidden gems for Xbox 360 games from what I'm told. So that's why I picked it up. Next game is called Blue Dragon. It's an Xbox 360 exclusive RPG made by Mist Walker. Uh, they did Lost Odyssey too. Um, I haven't played a lot of these games yet, but the reason I picked them up is because they were 360 exclusives. Um, this next game I actually had a hard time finding, and uh, I don't think it's really complete. It was only on Xbox. It's called Bullet Witch. It's a pretty rough shape, but it was only uh, five bucks or something. Um, trying to find another copy in better shape, but I had a hard time finding that. This next game was an early release game. Uh, I don't think it's particularly rare or anything. Uh, it's called Condemned Criminal Origins. Oops. And uh, it's a survival horror game. I've heard some decent things about this game, so that's why I picked it up. This next game I actually had a hard time finding. I know it's not rare or anything. It's called Crackdown. It was only uh, $3, as you can see. It's not complete or anything. Again, I'm looking for another copy. But this is the only copy I've ever seen uh, at stores. Maybe because people don't want to trade it in for that price. This next game is called The Dark. It's a survival horror game, I believe. Um... It wasn't expensive. Uh, it was only on 360. That's why I picked it up. I haven't played it, but I actually haven't heard great things about it. So this next game I picked up because I found it uh, with with everything, and that's the Devil May Cry 4 Collector's Edition. Um, I picked this up for five dollars. That's why I picked it up. So this next game um, I was told was was kind of rare. It's definitely uh, rare because it's made by Atlas. It's called Divinity 2, the um, Dragon Knight Saga. They made Ego Draconis, which was just the original game, and this has like an expansion with it. So um, I definitely say this is a little bit on the rare side for 360 games. This next game, um, actually, I picked up at a, at a game store, uh, not GameStop. It was $5. And uh, the guy made a mistake and actually put the Fable Anniversary in there. I tried to tell him that it wasn't the game for it, and then he still gave it to me. But, like I said, it was $5, so it came with a bonus disc. Next game, uh, it's not rare or anything. It's the Fable 2 with all the uh, extra content and stuff. Um, not rare. It was kind of more expensive. I think it was $20, but I got the buy two, get one free, so... That's why I picked it up. And this one was was a terrible game from what I'm told. It was $2. If that gives you an idea. But, um... Actually, I picked up the collector's edition too. Which I only paid like $10 for. I'll show those here in a little bit. This next game I'm going to say is a little bit on the rare side for 360 games. And that's Fist of the North Starkins Rage 2. I have the first one for PS3. Um, I liked the first one for PS3. I'm not going to say it was like one of my favorite PS3 games or anything. But... Um, I don't see this one that often. This is the only copy I've seen, so... And I picked it up because it was complete. I think it was $10. Next games, I I'm not going to, like, really show show or anything. And that's, uh, Halo Anniversary, Halo 3 ODST. I'm looking for the Halo 3 complete. Uh, Halo 4. And then Halo Reach. I, I picked all these up for... I think I picked them up the bundle for, um, $15 for all of them, so... This next game, um, it might be a little more collectible down the road, and that's Infinite Undiscovery. Uh, it's an RPG, exclusive to the 360. Um, I'm not sure how 360 games will, will, will stack up in collectability later, but... And this next one was a remake of an original Xbox game called Cameo. I, I think it was uh, $2, so I think it's a remake with HD graphics and stuff. This next game was um, called The Last Remnant. It was $5, $6, something like that. Um, I played a little bit when I had a 360 earlier. Um, 
like back in 2008 or 2009 so I, I didn't really get into it at the time but i'm going to try to replay it this next game i'm actually playing now it's a, it's a decent rpg people like really talk a lot of talk this up I, I i just think it's okay um and that's lost odyssey i've put about 40 hours into it i'm just four almost done um this was ten dollars it's a four disc game it's huge a huge game uh as far as cinematics go and stuff um, this next game I'm going to say will be kind of rare down the road. That's Magna Carta 2. Um, see this game? It's a, it's a, it's a Korean RPG, not a JRPG. But the Magna Carta 1 was on PS1. Uh, this was only for 360, so that's why I picked it up. This next game was another cheap game that I heard uh, good things about. That's 99 Nights. They made a 99 Nights 2, which I'm looking for. Uh, it was $2.00. This might, uh, I had a hard time finding this one, so it might be a little more on the collectible side. The next game I picked up because I, uh, I traded uh, Destiny for, for some of these games, and this is one of the games. So I couldn't play Destiny because I don't have an Xbox uh, Gold account. So I just picked up a couple of games that I wanted. Um, I normally try to pick up 360 exclusive games. It says it's only on 360, so I, I thought they made this for PS3 as well. Next game was another cheap game. Um, made by rare not a very good game it was one of the earlier xbox 360 games called uh perfect dark zero um again it wasn't very good i paid two dollars for it though so this next game was a surprise pickup for me i picked it up because it was a it says it was only on xbox 360 and it was in by square enix um it's a 3d shooter uh kind of like Rogue Squadron and stuff, a little more in depth than Rogue Squadron uh, for GameCube and stuff, but uh, this really surprised me. I think this was five, five to seven dollars. I don't remember, but it's definitely a cool, cool pickup. Um, I'm glad I found it when I did because I can't find this game anymore. Like and when when I look for 360 games, I never see this, so it might be a little more on the collectible side down the road. This next game was one of the other games I picked up. I had traded for Destiny called Saints Row the Third. Um, that's the reason I have it. This next game uh, I, I think is a little bit rare too. Um, it's called Samurai Showdown Sin. It's a 3D Samurai Showdown game which I, I didn't really like as much as the 2D. But um, I don't see this game that often either. So I'm going to say it's a little bit on the rare side. I'm glad I picked it up when I did. I think it was um, 5 It might have been $10. It was either 5 or $10. It wasn't expensive. This next game was one of the, the main reasons I picked up a 360 again, was Tales of uh, Vesperia. I really want the special edition. The special edition is really rare. Uh, but um, I really love the Tales game. So, and this, was, this only came out on 360 in the U.S., so they were supposed to port it to PS3 for the U.S., and they didn't. Uh, this next game, I was told, will become rare because they pull a bunch of them off the shelf. And this is called Too Human. Um, it was a $2 game, and I actually don't see many complete copies, probably for because they pull it up the shell, shelf, and people don't really want to trade in for the five cents that GameStop gives it to you. So um, I'm glad I found it because I was looking for this game. Uh, I haven't played it, but I heard good things about it. And this next game I picked up because I have the The Witcher 3 um, Collector's Edition for PS4 uh, pre-ordered. So I kind of wanted to play uh, a Witcher game. I've never played a Witcher game. And um, I really wish I could play the first one for, for PC. But I don't, I don't have a working PC right now because mine broke. But um, I heard this is a really good game. I wish I had a strategy guide for it because I heard it's pretty deep. But uh, I'm still looking forward to Witcher 3 even though I've never played a Witcher game. It just looks amazing. So, but they made um, an enhanced uh, edition and a regular edition. Um, actually, I think the regular edition might be a little rarer than the enhanced. I, I don't see that many copies of the regular edition. So, but then I'm going to get over to my, um, whoops, my collector's editions. I, I pick, picked all these up. Uh, I picked up this combo here for like $50 plus free shipping. I picked up this combo here for, for $7 with free shipping, both of them. And I found this at a GameStop for $10, um, Viva Pinata, which I think I heard some good things about. It's another Rare game um, made by Rare. I won't say it's Rare, um, but it came with a bonus disc and some extra content. It's kind of a cool case and stuff. Um, when I saw the case, I picked that up with my Double May Cry 
for collector's edition. I, I was actually pretty happy with that. So, um, I don't know how rare this, this is, but I definitely say this is a, a little bit rare, the collector's edition. And then the Fable 3, um, I, I see some online. I definitely got a good price for it. Uh, it's got a cool box and stuff for it. I have a little extra time, so I'll do a, a quick unboxing of some of these. Um, it's got Fable 3 in it. I already owned the Fable 3, but I figured for the price, you couldn't go wrong. It took me a little while, to, like 20 seconds to figure out how this worked. But it opens up this way. And it pulls out. It's got a deck of cards and a coin. Which is kind of cool. It's got a double-sided coin for good and evil for your choices that you make in, uh, in Fable. But nothing... That's actually not a bad collector's edition. And I'm, I'm glad I picked it up for the price. So... And then uh, Gears of War 2. Uh, I think this is missing something. But like I said, I picked it up for um, a good price. Uh, pretty cheap. Picked up the Fable 3 and this for $7. Plus $3 shipping. So I paid $10 altogether. But it's got the art book. Um, steel case. I think there was uh, another thing. It has a bonus disc too. There was another piece that's missing from this. But Gears of War is a great series for uh, for 360. And then these I, I cannot open up. Because uh, they're factory sealed. Uh, I don't know if you can see the factory seal. The factory still is still there on it. And that's Gears of War 3. And um, I'm actually kind of disappointed that this one was factory sealed. Because I, I really want to play this game. Um, and that's the Alan Wake. I picked both those up factory sealed for $50. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, but as of like right now at May 1st, uh, 2015, that's my 360 collection. I picked up 35 games for, um, for my 360. I just recently bought my... My 360 here for uh, $75. It's a 250 gig. So I, I, I used to have an old one. It sounded like a freaking jet engine taking off. This one's a little more quiet. Um, still has the power brick and stuff. I like 360, but their, their quality is not great. I will say that. But um, I've probably picked up all of these games for 100 to 150 dollars for all of them so that, i think that's pretty good um i bought a lot of them buy two get one free um i'm still looking for for some games i'm not going to say there's a lot more i'm looking for there might be 10 more games i'm looking for for 360 that are 360 exclusives um i do mainly collect for uh playstation platforms uh not because i'm like considered a playstation fanboy i guess but um it's because i, I like the playstation exclusives i i like RPGs. Um, I've had my PS3 system since day one. Um, there's a lot of reasons I like PS3. Uh, it's not that I don't dislike Xbox, it's just they don't have a lot of RPGs. And um, I've had I've had a couple of systems break on me when I owned a store, so and that that put up some red flags for me. But that's uh, that's my 360 uh, collection. Um, I'm not going to say there's going to be a ton of rare games for it. Um, I'm actually interested to see how rare um the current gen well, i don't know if you already call it current gen but past gen uh games will become over time uh, only because i i think they might have printed more of um some of these games but there are definitely uh rare games for the ps3 that i know of um i know 360 games don't hold their value as much compared to, to their P ps3 counterparts like the Devil May Cry 4 is still a $10 game. Uh, Devil May Cry 4 for 360 is a $5 game. So, but that's just one example. But um, I hope PS3 and 360 become um, collectible down the road just because I own so many of them. And uh, they're great systems. Both of them are great systems. Both of them have great exclusives. Um, like I said, Alan Wake, um, I have not played it, but I've heard awesome things about it. Uh, Gears of War obviously is a great series. Uh, Fable one and two are, are good, um, and then and then there are some some decent RPGs and stuff um, like you know the Tales games. You got the Lost Odyssey, Magna Carta two, Blue Dragon, Infinite Undiscovery, Last Remnant. Um, but other than that, Witcher two. Other than that, there really aren't a ton of RPGs for 360. So and that's that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.